Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd, I'm Phil Molina. And I'm Sam Basher, and today we've got some good news, everyone. Two of the biggest movies of the next two years have just dropped two delicious pieces of news. Sure, maybe we saw these coming a mile away, but that don't mean we're not peeing our pants out of excitement out of this news. Whoa, look at that. That's right, we're pee buddies. Our schedule is synced up. Deal with it. Ah. <laughs> Before we talk about what's up in the Potterverse, let's talk about some key to news. Yeah, let's go on and flip on into the MCU. Just flip, just flip, you're supposed to flip. Yeah. We've known for a long time that Michael Keaton was gonna be in the upcoming Spider-Man Homecoming movie. While rumor had always been that he'd be playing the Spidey villain Vulture, as it turns out, Michael Keaton is playing Vulture. <gasps> Who would've guessed? Everyone, everyone guessed. We've all known the entire time. It's but, been Vulture but, the whole time. But, We've but, known, no. but. Now it's confirmed. Feige confirmed. I like how Feige is spelled like beige, but with an F. You mean Baiji, my favorite color? Anywho, Kevin Feige really casually slipped in this quote while talking about the upcoming villains. We've had a wish list. Kate Blanchett is playing Hela in Thor Ragnarok. Michael Keaton's Vulture in Spider-Man is something. And of course, Josh Brolin's Thanos. That's it. That's how he announced it. Super casual Feige. Okay, so it's not a surprise, but it is super interesting now that it's confirmed. First off, Michael Keaton is a great actor, and because the character of Vulture at the time's been a bit of a campy villain, it's nice to see someone in that role that can give that character some grounded depth and also still feel threatening as a sometimes member of Sinister Six. Right, just look at Michael Keaton. That guy is tortured genius written all over him. Unless you look at him in multiplicity. It, just ignore that, that look. I need to know if you still love me. I want pizza. But the real interesting thing is that the Birdman is gonna play a Birdman. In what is probably Keaton's best role to date, the guy played an actor who in this universe played a popular superhero known as Birdman. And the even greater irony is that one of the themes of that movie is about how playing these popular roles often is not satisfying for an actor that is actually helping to play maybe a good role or an artistically challenging role. That movie was actually considered a response to how Keaton himself couldn't escape being played Batman in the early 90s, but it could never really be judged by Mary Art. M. Hmm. Multiplicity or Mr. Mom. Just so you know, this jacket is very loud. I know. Now, outside of our excitement, we don't know too much about this role itself. It'll probably still be the character of Adrian Toomes, an electronics engineer who builds a flying rig to seek out some vengeance. Right, and we have a guess on what he might look like, and it's not just the exact same Birdman costume, at least not based on this leaked photo of a possible design. Mm. Dark wings, dark helmet, kind of looks like if a crow put on a cozy fur jacket. Sweet Game of Thrones reference. No, no, damn it, that's, that's not what I meant. You know that there's not- Nothing, Jon Snow. Okay, all right. Making Game of Thrones right. references. Mm -hmm. All right, back to Vulture. Watch it. Mm -mm. What are your final thoughts on it, Sam? Ooh, my feet are moving for Keat, little graphic. Means I'm excited. <laughs> feetin' for a Keaton. No, we're feetin' for Keat. Feetin' for a Keaton. I've seen him play the villain before, and to see a Batman in a Marvel movie could only lead to some funny quips, right? Everyone loves those Marvel one-liners, yeah? You and Banner better not be playing hide the zucchini. Anyways, Harry Potter, huh? Ooh, solid transition. Thank you. Mm. It was announced that Jack Sparrow will be joining the Wizarding World, and sooner than you might think, slight spoiler warning for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, but hey, it's in the news, so whatever. So it was revealed by JK and others over at Warner Brothers that Fantastic Beasts 2 would also star Grindelwald. An infamous character from Harry Potter lore, basically Magic Hitler. I thought, wait, I thought Voldemort was like Magic Hitler. Oh yeah, apparently this world has a few Magic Ooh, Hitlers. Oh god, this sounds like a damn nightmare world. Agreed. Who do you feel would best portray this character? This evil man going around terrorizing Europe and trying to bring wizards, wizards, trying to bring wizards into a place of power? Oh! Just Sweeney taught himself Johnny Depp. Oh, Demon Barber Fleet Street. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what you're referencing. Mm -hmm. And we're not gonna have to wait a year or two to meet him. He is apparently making an appearance or two in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. As in like next week, if you're in the United States. That could be fun. I've heard there's an interesting history between Grindelwald and Dumbledore. Could be our first on-screen LGBT relationship we've seen in the Wizarding World, which could add some juicy drama to these films. Also, we wanna know who's gonna play young Dumbledore. Young Dumbledore. Young Dumb and full of door. <laughs> that is a whole other video that we can and should not do. But are we just happy about Johnny Depp being cast? As an actor, sure. I mean, he did a pretty good job of playing an intimidating character as Whitey Bulger, but as him as a person, I'm not so sure. What with his abuse accusations against his, I think now, ex Amber Heard, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of him right now. I kind of have to agree, but trying to stay positive. It will be interesting to see both Grindelwald and a little baby Dumbledore on screen together. Who do you want to play a little young Albus? Let us know down below. Write your fun fan cast. We'll be in the comments talking with you guys. I'm Sam. I'm Philip. How about we see you tomorrow? Oh, I'll see oh. you there. Till then. Ready? Peabody's on three. One, two, three. Uh.
Oh my god, that is so much here. Why is it cold? Why is it cold? Oh, lobster pussies! Have we really gone ahead four years? Has it been four years? Yeah. Now that you're here, I want to take your virginity on camera. Yeah, I know how taking someone's virginity works, but... 